Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. Alright guys, it's Brock. And we're here with another episode of All About. Today we're going to learn about the Antonata Lionfish. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. This dude is a massive, the one we got in store. Price for this guy, you probably need to spend about $60 on him. Depending on size, it could lower the price. Care level, they are moderate. Really, the only problem that comes in to taking care of these guys is feeding. Feeding is really what makes it hard to keep these guys. And lots of times, you need to make sure that whenever you go in your fish store to buy one, ask them if they've seen him eat yet, if they've gotten him to eat. At our store, we've really tried to stop customers from buying them before we can get them to eat. We try to teach them, putting it on the, putting the shrimp on the little prong, you know, and kind of teasing them and making them come and eat it before we'll sell it to a customer because we don't want them to just sell it to the customer and then a week later, oh, well, he never ate, and then you just lose $60. Tank size, you know, you need about a 50-gallon. He will get big, you know, leaving plenty of room to swim around. Temper, they are semi-aggressive. It is a lionfish. You got to remember that. Colors, they have the nice red and white stripes with the black dots all over them. Diet, they are carnivore. We feed our shrimp all the time. We've never really fed anything else. A lot of times whenever we're having problems with them eating, we have to put little baby chromies or damsels in there to give them some live food to keep them alive long enough for us to keep trying to hammer down them eating off a prong. Reef compatible, yeah, they're good little reef fish. The only problems we really have and customers have had is they like to perch. You know, they like to get up on a rock and kind of chill. So they might pick a coral to lay on, which really doesn't hurt the coral. It makes them shrink in. They don't like it. But after many times of them laying on that same coral, you know, it's going to get agitated and not enjoy it. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78. Keep your DKH 8 to 12 pH 8.1 to 8.4 and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's normal there. Max size, I think get about a half foot. The one in here, I mean, he's pretty much max size. He's a big dude. Origin, they do come from Sri Lanka. And venomous, yes, it is a lionfish. Watch out, them top fins on top. If he stabs you with those, it will not feel good. You have to put like some really hot water on there and just really deal with it. There's not really a good way to get through a lionfish sting. Don't go there. You don't want to deal with that. Just watch what you're doing whenever you're putting your hands in your tank. Really, uh, that's about it. The only other problem with having them in a reef tank is they, lionfish will eat anything that can fit in their mouth. So any kind of small fish that you have in there, if one week, oh, you kind of didn't feed them as much as you normally do, he might go after those guys. He also eats crustaceans, so your fire shrimp, cleaner shrimp, stuff like that, he's going to pick those off eventually. So, really got to watch out for that. If you keep those out of your tank, then you'll be fine. And that's really about it for the Antonada Line Fish. Hope you all have a good day. I'll see you all next week. Heading to a Comic Con this Friday with my brother. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll make sure to post a vlog about that. Y'all make sure to like and subscribe if y'all haven't already. Go and watch some more of my vids if you want to learn. And if you have a different opinion on a f on the fish that I'm talking about, just leave a comment down below. You know, everybody needs to have everyone's knowledge about the fish, not just mine. Hope you all have a good day. I'll see you later.